Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday. Sean Vero today. Take it to go out today, see what things came out, see what things are on sale today. Today though, new release wise, the big thing that comes out is uh, Birds of Prey. And with that one, I know there's a number of different retail exclusive versions of that one. I know uh, Target has one that has like a, um, sort of like a, um, I got animated type cover on that one, uh, and it's, it's a Blu-ray edition. And then I know Best Buy has the exclusive 4K Ultra HD Steelbook edition. I'm not sure though if there's any exclusive edition of it at uh, Walmart though. Other than that though, uh, the movie Fantasy Island uh, that releases today, as well as the movie uh, Vivarium and the movie The uh, uh, Photograph. Those are the main big things that come out today. I know there's a couple other things as well. Also though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some things I received a review and talked about for you guys so definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video and as always too let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the dvds and blu-rays and 4ks that i reviewed and you know what you guys thought of them if you guys have seen them also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into walmart we go and i think today i'm actually going to have to run over to target because there's these um melatonin vitamins that i have like i'm 100 percent out of and i've had like absolutely zero luck finding i have looked in walmart it's like this one specific type so hopefully i can finally find it i kind of have don't have a lot of faith because when i was there maybe like a month or so ago because i haven't been in target forever they didn't have any so we'll see when i go over there and i will check too quickly the um you know the birds of prey edition over there as well which they don't usually have the, sometimes they don't have the movies out in there so but if they have it i'll show it real quick though in the video as well but like I was saying though, the big thing that came out today was Harley Quinn, you know, uh, Birds of Prey. And I'll be talking about this one at the end of this video. But in here though, the 4K edition, that one's uh, $29.96. It's $24.96 for the edition, which has both films. It has Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey together for $24.96. So that's actually a really good price because it's exactly the same price if you guys just want the first movie. I mean, you know, the new movie, uh, you know, and you don't, so if you guys don't have Suicide Squad, that's definitely a good way to get it because it's the exact same price as just getting the, um, the uh, Blu-ray of the new movie. And then the um, DVD of Birds of Prey, that one is uh, $16.96 for that one. And then um, other than that though, they have a DVD version as well of the, oh wait a minute, so maybe these in the wrong spot. See, this is here. This one says $27.99, let's see. Is that Birds, oh, so okay, so it's $27.99. So it's a, a little bit more for that edition because I, I figured it might've been the wrong spot. I think that these need to be there. But there is a DVD version as well of it, and that one's on 1996. Other than that, though, there are a couple things not out here I see missing, like Call of the Wild, which looks like it would be the Blu-ray version of that one. But Call of the Wild here uh, on uh, DVD is 14.96, and I saw this one. I thought this one was decent, though. I don't. I don't know if I would buy this one, though. Other than that, though, uh, hopefully Target, since I said I was going to go over there, will have the Blu-ray of this one, a Fantasy Island. They have a spot for it, but they don't have it out. Uh, the Blu-ray would be 1996, and then it's uh, 1796 for the DVD of that. Other than that, though, over here, though, some of the other new ones, and this one here, um, I got to see a digital code of this one, so I got to watch this one a week or two back. This one, starring Imogene Poots and Jesse Eisenberg, called a uh, Vivarium. This one, though, uh, this is only 1496 for the Blu-ray, and then uh, 1296 for the DVD. But this one, I would highly recommend you guys check out. Like, it's kind of like an episode of like Twilight Zone, a little bit, and like Tales from the Dark Side and those kind of things. It's basically though about uh, Jesse Eisenberg and Imogene Poots' character who are going to like this kind of new compound to look at houses, and they go there, and it's like this weird like development where like you know they just they kind of open this big housing development. It's like every house looks exactly the same. And when they get in there with the weird realtor, he's like showing around the place and he's acting really strange and weird. And then like, uh, they're like looking at the house and then they go look for the guy and he's totally vanished. And they're like, what did this guy doing? Why did he leave? Why is he not here anymore? And then they're like driving around, trying to find him and trying to find the way to get out of the place. And then they're like totally lost and trapped in the, in the development. And it's kind of them trapped in there. And then like in the first like 20 minutes or so of the movie, a baby gets dropped off in front of the house and it says you have to raise this baby to be released and it's a really really interesting movie i highly highly recommend you guys check this one out like i said really love this one if you guys are fans of like twilight zone kind of stuff and that kind of thing it definitely has that kind of feel to it 
Other than that though, uh, like I was saying, the photograph, that one released today and that's uh, $22.96 for the Blu-ray and then $17.96 for the DVD. This is one that I didn't get to see. So if you guys have seen this one though, let me know how this movie was. Other than that though, Shameless, the complete 10th season, that released today and that one is on $19.96 for that. I'm trying to see if there's anything else different over here. And if I see anybody, I might ask if they have the Fantasy Island one anywhere, but I don't, I don't really see anybody over here to ask. There are a bunch of different empty spots in here. Let's see here. This is one of the things that came out too. That a couple weeks back I forgot to show. This one called The Infinity Train Book 1. This one is on $9.96 for that one here. But other than that though, let's check over here to see if there's anything else mixed in or anything like that. Because sometimes there's a couple other random things that are mixed in. Uh, all these ones were the last couple weeks, like this Everfall movie. Let me see here. Uh, down here, it looks to be all the same stuff, like uh, that was about a week or so back. Uh, let's see, I think I saw something new up here. These ones all came out, I think, last week. I believe this one came out today, this movie with Vivica A. Fox, this one called Rev. This one's $14.96 for the DVD. Uh, if you guys have seen this one, let me know how this one was. And then I think this Narcos um, Mexico Season 1 came out today and this is like a four season collection so I guess it's a, a collection with all of them together in this one and I think Lucifer Lucifer season four may have been today as well but this is 1996 and 1996 for Lucifer season four other than that over here though I don't see anything else different here as far as I can tell though but luckily enough in there though, the guy was able to find a copy of the Blu-ray of this one. And this one, you know, I got a digital code as well to look at the features and stuff on this one. But I saw this movie in theaters and I actually really like this one. I really like, you know, the original show with Ricardo Montalban. And the original show was people going to an island and every episode it was different people. And it was kind of like, it was called Fantasy On because they got to ha like live out their fantasy. Like if they wanted to be like a rich businessman or go like on like a kind of a adventure. It was all kind of different things. Every week it was a different guest star. And this one though stars Lucy, you know, Lucy, Lucy Hale and you know, um, and you know, Michael Penna. And Michael Penna is playing Ricardo Monobon's character. And he's like the guy who runs this island and Lucy Hale's character and a bunch of other people won uh, you know, a trip to go there and like live out their fantasy. And you know, um, of course though, you know, since it's the horror version of this, the fantasies are not gonna go well. And there's a whole lot more going on on this island and everything. It's very different than the original series, but I actually still did really like this one a lot. And this one has on here the theatrical version and the unrated cut of the movie. And it has like um, commentary track on the unrated one and then deleted scenes on this one as well. But like I said though, I really did like this one. It wasn't perfect or anything, but I really did for the most part like this one. And it's funny in here too, they have like, um, you know where they have like the $5 bin, now they're just calling it the two for 10 bin and then like the 374 pin. But normally you know how it's all like you have to dig through this thing and like put your hands all deep in these things to try and find it. Now they've kind of changed it so you can kind of see everything that's in it like this. This is a much better way because you can see all the titles. You have to, if you want to look underneath, you still have to move it a little bit, but yeah, it's definitely a much better system so you don't have to kind of like dig in them and touch a lot of things then, you know, touch more things than you need to or anything. So yeah, that's definitely the neatest $5 bin I've ever seen. Yeah, but in there though, like I was saying though, I ended up getting the uh, Fantasy Island one in there. So luckily enough, he was able to find that one. He ended up going looking in the back for it, was able to find it. So luckily enough, they ended up you know getting that one. But now I'm gonna though head over to uh, Target real quick though. Into Target we go. And I also want to let you guys know, you know, I've been doing the uh, live shows a lot. I've been doing them mainly Sunday evenings, you know, after I get back from my walk. And then, I, you know, usually like 11 o'clock, you know, Pacific Standard Time. And I've been doing some on Saturday and people have been, you know, in the uh, chat and everything were saying, you should have the join button on your channel so people could, you know, join the channel if they wanted to support the videos and that kind of stuff. And I didn't even honestly know that with my channel that I could actually have that. I didn't even know how that worked. But I looked into that, you know, looked into that and was able to, you know, put that function onto my channel. So that's now, under, you see that underneath of, you know, all the videos now, the join thing. So if you guys are interested in, you know, helping to support the channel and all that kind of stuff. And I'm still going to be doing all the same videos on here and all that kind of stuff. Just that, like I said, it's just a thing if you guys were interested in helping to support the channel. Like I said, guys, thanks again for all the support and everything. But see if they have these vitamin things in here. I'm going to be in and out of here real fast. And usually if they do have the movies, they're right in the front. So... If they, if they have them out, so I'll look for the uh, Birds of Prey there just to see what that one looks like. And like I was saying though, right in the front of the store they have the Birds of Prey out here. I don't see like a standee or anything like that. 
here, but um, they do have in here too the Call of the Wild uh, Blu-ray. That one's $19.96 for that one, uh, $14.96 for the uh, DVD. But in here, like I was saying, though, this is their exclusive edition one here. This one's $24.99. It's a um, you know a Blu-ray exclusive, and this one here has the exclusive cover. Like I said, it's kind of like an animated uh, comic book kind of cover. It's actually pretty cool looking. They did one uh, a little while back that had the same look. I can't remember what movie this it was for that had a similar cover like this. Uh, like I said, though, this one here is a uh, $24.99. It doesn't look like it has anything exclusive on it, except it has like a um, digital comic book on there. It's funny too, it has a little thing on there that says, this is a live action movie. I guess so people don't think, you know, that it's a, um, you know, uh, animated film in the animated series. And then other than that, though, the 4K here, that one's a uh, $24.99. Oh no, this it was $24.99 for the regular edition. Uh, the 4K, like I said, was $29.99. And they all have different covers too, which is cool, because the 4K has a different one. And then the Blu-ray in here has a different cover as well of all them together, because the, the one at Walmart was totally different. Other than that here in the front, uh, like I said, I showed Call of the Wild. It doesn't look like anything else here different as far as I can tell though in the front. Yeah, and luckily enough in there though, I you know, they had the vitamins in there. So like they had a couple of them left, so that was good. And I had like the pure like, you know, luck. They ended up having uh, the paper towels that we need to get more of. And then they had to uh, toilet paper in there. This is like the toilet paper and it's like the one that we normally would get. So that's the first time I've really seen that toilet paper really anywhere. The whole section was totally stocked up. So it's a good thing I went in there today because this is the first time I've actually that I've been in there. I've been there in a while, but the other times that I had, everything was totally picked over. So pure luck that they had all that stuff in there now so it seems like they're getting bigger stocks but every time you talk with this mask on it kind of gets you a little windedish a little bit that's why like if the gym's open and everything and you had to wear a mask that would be really weird i don't know how you would like run and stuff like that on the treadmill and stuff like with the mask on so i think i'm gonna wait for a while to like because i heard a thing about the gym's you gotta have like a whole new thing where you have to like check in on your phone and select the time when they, you know, when they do open. I feel like I'm gonna wait a while till it gets more like to the normal way of things. Cause it's gonna be kind of weird to having like a reservation system and all that kind of stuff though. But at least I found that stuff Don't though. worry, every time after I go in anywhere, before I like do, do anything, I hand, I'm sanitizing my hands and all that kind of stuff. So I'm being very careful, you know, with the things that I'm grabbing and the toilet paper and all that kind of stuff touching everything. But yeah, I do have all this in the car and I have a bunch more of these ones ones from um that we were able to order at home as well these um bath and body works ones if you have a hard time finding these ones these ones seem like the ones you can sometimes find a little easier on their website though these like small little ones but we have a whole bunch of different ones of these ones at home though and taking a look here on Best Buy's weekly ad, the big thing they're advertising is Birds of Prey. And with that one, the uh, uh, Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook, that one is uh, $34.99 for that one. $29.99 for the standard 4K uh, Birds of Prey. $24.99 for the Blu-ray. Call of the Wild there on 4K is $24.99. And then it's $19.99 for the, um, the uh, Blu-ray of that one. Let's take a look here too. And you can see a closer look at these ones here. See a closer look at the uh, Birds of Prey Steelbook. And that one, I'm sure, though, is one that's like probably selling out real fast. Um, let's see here. And you see, like, in, in the image inside is like Harley Quinn and then the dog in the movie. I really like that movie a lot. Let's see here. Um, let's see if they're showing like Fantasy Island on here as well. Anything else different? And they have Narcos uh, Season 1 there for $9.99. Uh, you know, Lucifer, uh, the complete fourth season is nineteen ninety nine. That movie Rev um, is thirteen ninety nine. Let's see, Fantasy Island though. Fantasy Island is uh, nineteen ninety nine for that one. Other than that though, that seems to be all the main uh, new ones in here. At least the new ones that they would have. You know, you'd be able to get in store for store pickup. Thank you for choosing Popeyes. Order whenever you're ready. Hi, so I just need to get two of the classic chicken sandwiches. And on okay. both and on both of those though, no mayonnaise, please. Okay. And then uh, just two of the mild uh, chicken breast pieces, please. And just two mild breasts, okay? And that was everything. Okay, your total will be a fourteen eighteen. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I gotta put the mask on too. This is one of those ones that requires the masks. You know, when you pick up the food. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, so I need to get just a uh, double cheeseburger plain, please. Okay, what else? And then a uh, small onion rings. 
Okay. A large fry. Okay. And a chicken fries, please. Any sauce for your chicken fries? And then just uh, two sweet and sour, and then one uh, barbecue sauce, please. Anything else for you? And that was everything. Oh, yeah, sorry. The only other thing was the Hershey Sunday pie. Okay. I'll have it set at the window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Panda. What would you like for my limited menu? Hi, so I just need to get um, two of the medium sides of the fried rice, please. Okay. And then um, an order of the veggie spring rolls. Okay. Uh, and then a medium side of the super greens. Okay. And then the only other thing was just three sweet and sour sauces, please. And right. then a, a couple of, of soy sauce. Okay. Would you like to do a donation to help fight COVID-19? Yeah, you can round it up to 14. Round up to 14, thank you. You're welcome. And that was everything. Okay, then I send Okay, thank you. So anyway, well guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray shopping video today. Like I always say, though, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again, guys, for the support. And like, and also, too, let me know in the comments below, you know, if you guys picked up anything today, what did you end up picking up, you know, on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. And also let me know, too, anything new that you guys have been watching recently, any new TV shows, any new movies that you watched on streaming, or any of that kind of stuff as well. But anyway, though, guys, thanks so much, guys, and now stay tuned for the brand new reviews. Well, I'm back home with the food, and Lulu, I got you today to try some Popeye's chicken. Did you hear that, Herb? I got po some Popeye's chicken for Lulu. Yes, and I got you those chicken sandwiches that you've never had any success getting. You know, when they had them out the first time around, the first couple times, you never had any success. No. It's like, forget it. But, like, let's see here to show Lulu the chicken breasts. So Lou, you want to see these? Let's see if, because the ones we got the last time though were not oh, very big. This one's not too bad. Look How do these look, Lou? Look at that. Look, Lou. Yay! Popeye's chicken. Popeye's chicken. How do, yeah. how do you like the looks of that? She likes the looks. Because the last one we got at, at KFC, the one location has very small, dried up ones. Yeah. The, yeah I don't get it. I it's mean, not not good. I don't know. I'd like the big meaty breasts. Yeah, so at least at least these ones... The Christina Hendricks breasts. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. And I had success and got some of the, the paper towels, the that. main ones we use. More, more and, ass wiping. And doo-doo paper. More ass wiping. Ultra strong. Yeah, so got that's that too. Good. So I, And I got some these things I told you I couldn't find. Oh, that's good. And cool. some soap. You, they, really? they limit them though, so you can't get yeah, many yeah, of them. I but I got those oh, too. That's good. You yes, and, good. The, and the other, th and, you know, and then... The uh, chicken sandwich. So here's your chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they didn't put the mayonnaise on it. Okay. I said no mayo, and I documented it on well, video. I don't have any problem with the mayo, but you know. My brother doesn't want the mayonnaise it's on. It's not a mayonnaise. Person. I see you back there lurking and looking no, at the look sandwich. Look how they wrap it up like that. Oh yeah. Cool. So does it seem like there's no mayo? No, I don't see any. Yeah. So it seems. Yeah. At least they did it. They did it. They did good. it right. That's good. Yeah. So now go ahead and check for their new reviews. And the first one I got here is from Warner Brothers. They sent out a free copy of this one. The late guys know that this one was available. This one here is uh, Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Now this one, I saw this one in theaters and I absolutely love this movie. This is absolutely one that is a must watch. Like I really, really like this one a lot. And this is basically though, you know, the, the story of Harley Quinn's character, her film. And it's basically though about, you know, if you guys saw Suicide Squad, you know that she was with the, uh, you know, the Joker and they've had like in their relationship all sorts of ups and downs and They've had all kinds of problems and everything. And, you know, in the very beginning of this movie, though, uh, Harley Quinn ends up breaking up with the Joker. And see, the way the Joker was, everybody was, like, so scared of him. Like, all the, the worst criminal bad guys around, even them were, were afraid of the Joker because of how crazy he was and they didn't want to cross him. They didn't want him, you know, on their bad side, getting on the Joker's bad side or anything like that. So, essentially, though, Harley Quinn's character could kind of do whatever she wanted. She could kind of cause all sorts of mischief. She could kind of do as she wanted cause all kinds of problems but now you know all the bad guys and everything have found out that you know Harley Quinn is no longer with the Joker and now, now they don't have to worry about you know um, you know doing anything if they do anything bad to her what the Joker will do to them so it's basically though everybody is coming after Harley Quinn and she's kind of become you know public enemy number one and everybody's trying to take her out and coming after her and all sorts of things then at the same time too uh, Ewan McGregor's character is one of the bad guys who kind of is going after her at the same 
same time, he kind of wants her to work for him. And there's kind of going to be like, um, it's kind of like, you know, if she doesn't do it, it won't be good for her. It's kind of like she has no option. She's going to have to do it. And it's kind of like she doesn't want to. And it's like kind of all sorts of problems and everything. And her with another group of these girls. And they're kind of trying, you know, playing to work together and everything. Like I said, though, I absolutely love this movie. This is definitely one you guys have got to check out. On here, though, this has the Birds of uh, Birds uh, Eye View mode, which has the fresh take on the film loaded with Harley uh, uh, Harley eyes looks, fun facts, and Easter eggs on this one, as well as it has a whole bunch of different featurettes on here in the making of the film, has a gag reel on here, so lots and lots of features on this one, but like I said, this is one I would definitely recommend you guys check out. Really, really love this one a lot. The next one here is from Warner Brothers as well. They sent our free copy of this one as well to let you guys know this one was available. This is another one that I would give a top recommendation to. Really like this one a lot, and this is uh, Gretel and Hansel. This is directed by Oz Perkins, who also directed the movie uh, February. No, it was February was what it was called in some other countries, but in the U.S. it was called The Black Coat's Daughter, which I really, really liked that one a lot as well. That one had, um, you know, starred Emma Roberts, and this is basically a um, very grim fairy fairy tale, you know, grim version of uh, Gretel of the story of Hansel and Gretel. And you know, the the Hansel and Gretel story though has always been my favorite, you know, of the um, grim fairy tales or the nursery rhymes or that kind of stuff. Because because that was one of those ones, uh, as a little kid, I, I loved everything to do with Hansel and Gretel. Like the um, the canon movie that they made, the Hansel and Gretel canon film, I watched that so many times as a little kid. Same with the um, Shelley Duvall's Fairy Tale Theater. I watched those like crazy. And my favorite one of those to watch was the Hansel and Gretel story as well. So I've always loved the Hansel and Gretel story. And I loved seeing with this one, though, it was a much more dark uh, version of the whole thing. Just the whole vibe of the thing. And it's basically about the the, the, the story of, you know, Hansel and Gretel, uh, or Hansel and Gretel, who basically, you know, um, it can't their their stepmother ends up kicking them out and they can't live there anymore and because there's no money and everything and they kind of have to figure out what they're going to do and both of them kind of wander out into the woods and trying to kind of hope to find somebody that they can kind of work for uh, and kind of to, to to have some money and to survive and everything and along the way though they come across this house and in this one though it's not like it, the typical one where it's like a house covered with candy or any of that kind of stuff like the witch's house is covered with candy and everything this is like a really creepy like the like this dark house like with the look and the architecture of it is amazing but they basically come across this house and they smell food in there and they find their way inside because they're starving and haven't eaten in days and then they go in there and of course you know it's the witch in there and they don't know she's bad and you know they basically are living in there and, and the witch is trying to fatten up you know uh, Hansel and it's basically though Gretel you know with the witch and like um, having to help her with these things and this one though deals more with like uh, with that aspect as well but then it has like aspects of like magic and witchcraft and some different kind of stuff that wasn't in like the kids versions of this story that I had seen in the past but this one like I said uh, everything about this the way this was shot the cinematography is amazing in here just the, the whole look as well the look of like the witch's house and the way this is filmed and just the whole outcome and how different things were I definitely would like I said this is one I would top recommendation you guys have got to check this one out on here though this has a feature wise storybook and original collection of illustrations that capture the beautiful cinematography uh, reimagining of Gretel and, Hansel, and Gretel and Hansel on this one. But like I said, definitely a must-watch one here. The next one here is from Paramount. And this is one that I didn't get to see in theaters. I was really glad to check this out. And I thought this was a really, really fun movie. And this edition, too, uh, comes with a um, The Adventures of Sonic and, and Donut Lord, a comic book in here. So it's a comic book that's included in here uh, with this one. And this is pretty cool. It ha and it has, like, the looks, the way the comic look looks and everything, just like the you know original Sonic the Hedgehog uh, video game on Sega and the thing with Sonic is I always loved that game that was actually Sonic the Hedgehog was actually then this is the movie here that I'm talking about is the 4k of Sonic the Hedgehog the movie of Sonic the Hedgehog the film and basically though Sonic though was the first ever you know uh, video game that I ever played as a kid because the first system I ever got and I think I was in like the uh, first grade maybe or maybe not even first grade maybe like preschool which was you know the Sega Genesis and the very first game I ever played on that was Sonic. So that was like, I always had loved that character and loved that game and played all the games that were, you know, all the Sonic games are on Sega. And so like, I always loved the character. 
This is basically, though, uh, about the character of Sonic, who has the ability to travel between worlds and everything because he has these rings, so he can travel through the world with these rings. In the beginning of the movie, though, he has to escape from the planet that he's living on to a safe place, and he's kind of traveling around with his rings uh, to different locations. And this, when this movie starts, though, he's on, he's, I think it's been going on for a number of years, like 10 years or something like that, that he's been kind of traveling around to other worlds, and he's now living on Earth. And basically, though, uh, he's kind of like gets himself noticed because he ends up um like going around on this um baseball field and he's going like as fast as he can and he kind of causes like this big like surge in the in the electricity and kind of has causes a huge like rolling blackout and because of that though they trace to where he was and they end up find they are basically searching for him and uh you know Jim Carrey's character is Dr. Robotnik and he's like making it his mission to track down Sonic and Sonic comes across James Marsden's character and, and he kind of forces James Marsden's character to kind of help him uh, get away and figure out where to hide out, why, you know, Jim Carrey's character is kind of, you know, play, like Dr. Robotnik is coming after him and trying to track him down and everything. But this is a really, really fun movie. Uh, like I said, I would highly recommend you guys check this out. And on here, though, uh, feature-wise, this has a bunch of different features. It has deleted scenes, uh, bloopers, a bunch of different featurettes on here. Uh, and uh, 4K-wise, too, this one looks great on 4K. If you guys have 4K capacities, this would be one I would definitely recommend you guys uh, pick up the 4K one for this one. And like I've said in the past, the big thing with 4K is the HDR, which is the high dynamic range, which is basically about the contrast levels. It means it has much, much darker contrast levels to the level of contrast you see. And it's also, I feel like it's a much, much brighter, and I've said this a lot, the much, much brighter picture all around it's just much more vibrant and everything but definitely would recommend like i said recommend you guys check this one out here really like this one also includes in here the blu-ray as well as a digital copy the next one here is from uh, paramount as well and this is also a nickelodeon show this is one i just want you guys know is available and this is uh, the loud house absolute madness season two volume two this is basically though about this um I've only ever seen a couple episodes of this show, but it's basically about this boy who, you know, has his ten, uh, you know, sisters that he lives with, and it's kind of just about him living with all of his sisters and kind of like um, all the kind of a, the problems that he has with his sisters and the kind of the the stuff that he's having going on in school and all those kind of different things in here. But it's actually a pretty fun show, and it has like a an interesting look to the way the animation is. I actually really like the animation uh, look on this one. Like I said, though, this is one I just want you guys know uh, was available. And here, here's a look though in inside here at uh, this one. The next one here, this is one that I had, a movie that I had always heard about and I had never seen this movie till now. I have no idea why it took me so long to see this movie. I'm so glad that I finally have watched this movie and I absolutely love this film. And and, uh, and it's called, you know, this is from the Paramount's new line, the Paramount Presents line. And they're going to be putting out a bunch of different things on this line coming up, like um, uh, Pretty in Pink is going to be coming out soon. And this is uh, Flashdance here. And I love, the, like I was saying, because I showed these some of their releases like a week or two back and I love the way these are designed because it has on the side like number four and then it has like the the release date of the movie 1983 then it opens up like this and it has the original uh, poster inside for this one and then I'll show you guys a look though inside here at the case and it's a, in a clear case but this edition here though has a brand new feature which is filmmaker focus uh you know talking to the director as well as the original special features on here as well like the um you know look at flash dance releasing the flash dance phenomenon and theatrical trailer but this is basically though about jennifer Be jennifer jennifer beale's character who is a um she basically works at night at a um, like a kind of a bar, like dancing there as like a dancer at this bar, and then and then during the day though she works like as at a because this is set in Pittsburgh where that's like the steel mills and all that kind of stuff, and she works at a steel mill during the day, but at night though uh, her boss though one night when she's dancing her boss like notices her there and kind of likes her and says oh yeah I, I thought because you know he didn't know that she works for him too because he just saw her at the bar and then he realized the next day she works for, for him and then he basically like starts talking to her and everything and it's basically though about her like dream of what she really wants to do is do ballet and be a ballet dancer and like be successful at that and it's kind of like she doesn't have kind of the faith in herself to do it and it's kind of like her trying to have faith in herself to go to the audition to be a ballerina and like in, get into the ballet into the ballet school and all that kind of stuff and it's kind of her uh, just kind of trying to do that and but it's like has these great uh, sequences in here and like um great music in this one as well like absolutely love the music in this like i said though i cannot believe i have not seen this movie till now but definitely if you guys have never seen this movie though definitely one i would uh, recommend you guys 
guys check out. And like I said, it's part of the brand new Paramount Presents line. And the next ones here are all from Paramount as well. And these are ones I wanted to let you guys know were available. And these are three uh, Tom Cruise films available for the first time on 4K. And this one here is uh, Days of Thunder. Now this one here, though, keep in mind with the Days of Thunder 4K release, this one only has the 4K edition of the movie as well as a digital copy. It does not include a uh, Blu-ray on this one. And this one has on here feature-wise filmmaker focus uh, talking about Days of Thunder as well as an isolated score on this one. And then the other one here is Top Gun on a 4k here also though i want to make sure to show you guys i just got these in the mail now uh, after i did the review i got the uh, top gun glasses here and it says on here a uh, top gun day is uh, may 13th make sure you're ready take a picture with your uh, aviators and post a uh, hashtag top gun day on there and it also is advertising the sequel to top gun you know coming out you know to theaters uh, december 23rd and here's a look though at the glasses here the top gun glasses like i said just wanted to show you guys these ones uh real quick because these ones just uh came now and this one has on here though a 4k special feature the legacy of top gun as well as some featurettes on here on the blu-ray though it has a bunch of different stuff like a six-part documentary on the making of top gun uh multi-angle storyboards tom cruise interviews a uh, whole bunch of different stuff on here behind the scenes featurette then this one though includes the 4k the blu-ray as well as the digital copy on this one and the last one here and this is one i had not seen this movie in so long and this is the one that was from that was directed by steven spielberg and that was war of the worlds when you know it's with tom cruise and uh, dakota fanning and like i remember really liking this one i remember seeing this one in theaters like i said i was glad to watch this one again because i have not seen this one since it first came out i think it released was it like in 2005 so i forgot that it was 2005 for some reason i thought it was a little bit later than that but like i said i have not seen this one in years and it's you know basically set you know during an alien invasion and it's Tom Cruise's character and his daughter, played by Dakota Fanning, trying to figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to survive throughout the whole thing. Uh, but all these ones here on 4K, though, all these ones have great transfers on these ones. Look, definitely, if you guys are fans of these movies, are definitely worth the upgrade to pick up the 4K editions of these ones. On this one, though, it has the original featurettes on here, like uh, Steven Spielberg and the, the uh, original War of the Worlds, you know, talking about the original film. has a bunch of different featurettes on here, still galleries, production galleries, theatrical trailer. So a bunch of different things on these ones here. The next one here is from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. And this is a movie I had not seen in a really long time. And was really when I heard they were releasing this one, I was really happy. Because this one uh, was on DVD, but it was only ever released in full screen. So finally it's available as well in HD and now in, in widescreen as well. And they sent over the one in this really cool uh, slipcase here. Which I love the slipcover on this one. And this is the uh, film here, Dolly Dearest. Which is a great, you know, possessed uh, doll film. Like if you guys are fans of stuff like Chucky and it was making me think of you know a child's play it was making me think of um, Pinocchio's Revenge which is one that I would love if Vinegar Syndrome could release that one because that movie was came out a, I think it might have been a couple years after this one I think it was like 2000, I mean 1996 maybe or something like that but this one it had like a similar kind of feel to this one but I love the slip covers the you know that uh, Vinegar Syndrome does they're a really great uh, job and they have like a great look and they're much thicker too than normal slip covers they're a little bit thicker Here's a look here on the side, and I'll take this off too so you guys can see, uh, talk, you know, talk about the features and everything. But basically, though, if you guys have never seen uh, Dolly Dearest, it's basically though, about this family that ends up moving to Mexico because the father, uh, you know, he ends up getting a job at the, you know, buying this doll factory because he wants to make these dolls. And, the, and basically, though, nearby the, where the doll factory is, it's this old, like, dilapidated factory. But nearby was this old, like, Mayan, uh, you know, um, grounds where like a bunch of people had died and everything and where basically something like and it's cursed and everything and something you know gets like released nearby and possesses one of the dolls and of course though the father's showing the factory to his kids and the one daughter's along and she sees the doll and she's like oh that i can't I'm, these dolls you're making are great and he's like well you can have the very first doll that i've made and of course he takes you know she takes the doll home and the doll is like whispering things to her telling her things and basically it starts to change her the daughter and she kind of starts acting strange and the doll is like moving around and like killing the maid in the house and all sorts of 
things. And it becomes a whole big thing of how they're going to stop this. And, uh, you know, Rip Torn is in the movie and he's like an archaeologist, like, you know, searching, you know, in the Mayan grounds and he's trying to figure out how to stop this doll. But it's a really, really fun. If you guys are fans of like killer doll movies and stuff, like I said, like Child's Play, Pinocchio's Revenge, Dolls, all that kind of stuff, definitely was one I would recommend you guys check out. And on here, though, it has a newly scanned and restored in 2K from the 35 millimeter inter interpositive. Uh, great transfer on here. It also has an interview on here with Denise Crosby, who's like the star of the film playing the mother. It has an uh, interview on here with Ed Gale, as well as re reversible artwork, because this is the reversible artwork, and the main artwork here is the one that's on the uh, cover of the slipcover. And the next one here is from, uh, these ones are all from uh, moviezing.com. This is one I was so glad that's finally on uh, Blu-ray, because the first movie's been out on Blu-ray for years, and there was like, I was always kind of wondering, is the sequel ever going to come out? And I always like this one. This is like, um, I always remember seeing this movie in theaters. This came out in 1994. I, but I always remember, though, when I was watching this in theaters, uh, and like even as a kid, I was always thinking like, man, I wish Macaulay Culkin would come back somehow. But, you know, if you guys saw um, the first movie, you know Macaulay Culkin's character dies in it. So there's no way he'd be back. But I always, like, as a kid, was always thinking, I just wish somehow like Macaulay Culkin would be back, or there'd be like a flashback or something. But this here is, um, you know, My Girl 2 here on Blu-ray, and this is also from um, from Sony, and this is a movie. Like I said, it's not as great as you know, as good as the uh, first movie, but I still have always liked this one. And it's basically though about Anna Chumsey's character going to kind of like um, she's doing like a like a school assignment on her mother, and she wants the person who she wants to write about. So she's kind of going to where her mother grew up and kind of trying to you know get like um, information about her mother and kind of find out what she can and all these kind of different things. And it's basically that's that's what it is. And but she ends up meeting though you know. Um, um, Austin O'Brien's character, and this is around the same time he was in, Austin O'Brien was also in uh, Last Action Hero, and she basically, though, starts to kind of like him, and it's like, there's a sad thing that happens with um, Macaulay Culkin's character's like, ring in this movie, too, in the, in the tar pits. It's a, it's a sad movie, though, too. I always, like I said, always did really like this one as well, though. The next one here is from MovieZing.com as well, and this is also from Showtime, and I'm really glad that there's a uh, copy of this that's been released now, uh, because I really love this show, and I feel like um, this second season especially kind of went under the radar and I feel like not a lot of people saw this it's a show that stars Jim Carrey and it's called Kidding and this is the complete second season of the show and this is a show that um, you know you definitely have to start though with season one so make sure you guys see season one first but I would definitely recommend you guys check this one out and definitely worth picking up and if, especially if you guys are a fan of Jim Carrey and you like when he does like you know con there's some, a little bit of comedy a little bit but it's much more drama kind of sad and it's basically Jim Carrey's character is a TV show host who's kind of like a Mr. Rogers kind of guy and he's like had a lot of success he's been on for years since he was like I think in his like early 20s he's been on and it's become a whole it's been on well he's been on for 30 years so he's, I think maybe like when he just turned about 20 and he basically though it's a whole family affair like his sister helps on the show and his sister played by you know Catherine uh, Keener she like does like the puppets and helps put together the, the props and stuff uh, Jim Carrey's character's father he's the producer on the show so it's like a big group and though in the first season of the show, Jim Carrey's character has kind of had a breakup with his wife and they're not together anymore and he's kind of like kind of on the verge of a breakdown he's like in his life things are starting to kind of get to him and, he, and he's kind of trying to hold his life together and, and, and get, you know kind of people see him as like a Mr. Rogers type but at the same time behind the scenes he's having all sorts of problems going on in his life and the second season picks up though after something really big that happened uh, with, his, with Jim Carrey's character's car and you know with somebody getting hit and it's kind of like like the pick up off after that and then it's kind of even more of his life has become in this downward spiral but this is a definitely a must watch I'm really glad to have a copy of this one uh, the next one here is from uh, Lee Mark uh, Studios it's a movie here called Entrapped A Day of Terror and this is basically though uh, one of those films like and I always like these kind of things that are like set in elevators like there was a movie called Devil in the Elevator uh, there was one called like it might have even been one called Elevator one called like uh, The Lift and but you know that lift was kind of of like other stuff going on but dealt with an elevator this one is basically though more like a devil kind of movie where it's all set inside of this uh elevator and it's kind of about the people they get trapped in this elevator and you kind of find out about where the people are all going you kind of find out exactly you know what um you know what they were doing and kind of where they're playing to go and you find out more about them as this movie goes along but they're trapped in this elevator and it kind of is is like um, without ruining anything there's like there's a reason why they're trapped in there and there's something going on within the building and it's kind 
kind of about them trying to figure out exactly what they're all going to do. And it's a, it's a pretty interesting Italian movie here. Like I said, this one here is called Entrapped, A Day at Terror. Uh, this one is from Movie Zing as well. This is also from... Um, a film fest distribu distribution. It's a movie here called uh, Low Riders vs. Zombies from Space. And this is a really fun, like, throwback. It says on here, like, a throwback to, like, um, B movies from the 80s and 90s. And it also has, like, um, throwback vibes to, like, 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 50s movies as well. Like, stuff like, um, around the time of, like, the original Blob and that kind of stuff. And even has, like, um, like, old school kind of effects and stuff where they, like, tint the screen green and all this kind of stuff. And it's basically about a group of friends, you know, who are playing to go to this like big like, party that's going on and like um, something has happened and people are starting to get turned into zombies so it's kind of like these friends and as well as people like that are like have low rider cars and everything and they're all kind of going out to this one area for this party but basically though there ends up being like these zombies that are going on why they're out there and it's kind of them out there trying to figure out exactly how they're going to survive and fight these zombies off and like I said it has like old school kind of like effects and stuff like you know uh, scenes of people like you know like I said with like the green kind of effects and all that kind of stuff it's a total throwback and like i said it has an 80s 90s vibe but like mixed also with some 50s elements as well but a really really fun one here like i said this one is called low riders versus zombies from space and the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com as well. And this is also from Freestyle uh, Releasing. This is a movie here called Dopal. And this is a, you know, a found footage horror film. It's basically, though, about this couple who have been married for years and have kids. And they're they're putting together this kind of, like, anniversary kind of video to kind of, like, you know, commemorate the times that they've been together and kind of, like, for their kids to see. And just kind of, like, it's a memento piece for how long they've been together and everything. But things start to go kind of weird. And, the, the you know, the wife, she's, like... Um, kind of vlogging the whole thing but there's like the husband is like all of a sudden acting really peculiar like the one day she goes out by herself and she's out by like the lighthouse and she sees like her husband or someone that looks like her husband like by the lighthouse and then he like she goes and yells for him and then and she goes and walks over in the same shot and he like all of a sudden vanishes and she goes home and tells her husband she's like what were you doing were you messing with me were you pranking me you know I had this I was at, out there filming trying to vlog and then I saw you out there and I called for you and you disappear and he's like what are you talking about I've been home editing this thing you give me all this footage I gotta edit and I gotta work on this and he was I think he works on commercial kind of stuff as well and basically he's like that was not me I don't know what you're talking about and little by little there's more of these occurrences of like the husband like you know not saying he's not somewhere and then weird things are going on and he starts like having like headaches and weird sort of things are going on but this is a really really interesting pretty effective uh, found footage movie uh, the next one here and this is I think this is actually made a couple years ago a number of years back and I and this is also from um, Lee Mark Studios as well and, and it's also from Mui Zing and this is a uh, uh, I remember the show when this was on uh, this I think it was called Repo King or operate an operation operation uh, repo it was like a repossession show I think it was on like spike TV or something like that but I remember it really well when it was on and I, I remember watching a couple episodes and at the same time too there's a number of different like um uh, you know like repo possession car shows like even one that was like a game show I don't think that was this one though where you could like um if your car was repossessed you could go and like play a game or something but this one here is called operation repo uh, the movie here and this is basically though about like this whole this group of like this family that has a repo uh, possession you know group and this one though it's kind of like you know it's done like the show but it's kind of like a like a like a movie like a scripted movie instead of like a reality show and it's kind of about like um you know what they do and like you know you know people getting the cars back from people that didn't pay and all that kind of thing but at the same time they end up getting mixed up with this bad guy that kind of is like they have to deal with and it's kind of like causing all kinds of problems in the family and everything and they have to figure out how they're going to get this guy and everything it was actually kind of fun if you guys were a fan of the show though it was definitely interesting to see a movie of the you know the series turned into a film uh, the next one here is from uh, Black Fawn Distribution and this is one I want you guys to know is available and this is the movie here Harpoon this has a really cool uh, you know, kind of like a VHS style throwback, you know, video rental uh, slip cover on this one. It has on here like original and uncut, a thriller, a 50% charge if the tape is not rewound, warning, do not copy, a VCR virus programmed onto this videotape. I, don't know, I always love these kind of looks and it even has like on the side, it, it says like, um, a Vine Country Country Tour. Then it has it like cra you know crossed out, and then it says Harpoon, and it says VHS on the side. And this movie though, and here's the um, the main artwork here underneath without the slipcover. And this is basically though 
about this couple and uh, they, they end up going off on, on this trip and the, the beginning of the movie though uh, it's going to be like two friends and, and the one's a couple and the two boyfriend and girlfriend and then the one friend but at the same time though in the beginning there's like this confusion and the boyfriend thinks that his girlfriend is like cheating on him with his friend and it causes all this turmoil but then it's like like a misunderstanding and then they end up going out in the boat for this trip and then things out there go and start to fall apart they like get trapped out there and it's kind of like um they have all sorts of like un kind of problems that are still going on in their relationship and they're kind of all out there together when they're dealing with this it's a really really effective movie here on here though it has feature wise it has a making of featurette audio commentaries b-roll footage deleted scenes trailers and as well as a bonus dvd uh copy of the film as well in here and the next one's here and these are all from the company called um uh, called uh sov horror.com so it's www.sovhorror.com and i have a link below as well so you guys can find out about these ones uh, you know where to go and order these and this same company though sov horror is soon going to be releasing uh ice cream man not the clint howard one the other one that i've talked about a lot which is a great movie so i can't wait for their release of that to see and you know um if they have any different features or anything on that one but that one i'll, I'll be sure to let you guys know when that's available that's an absolute must see movie it is such a fun movie so i I'm I'm so excited that they're going to be releasing that one. Uh, but this here is all, um, it's going to, it's like, how many different titles is it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, sorry, seven releases here. And these are all Warlock video titles. And these were all films that were put together by uh, Chris Seaver, you know, produced these movies. And he directed most of them. That Some of them, though, he um, ended up co-directing. And I think one or, or two of them, uh, Josh Sire, Sire directed himself. And basically, though, these are throw, you know, Chris Seaver, um, well, you know, did films for the company called Low Budget Pictures, and I got to work with him on a movie called, um, you know, Geek Wars, and then um, one called um, Filthy McNasty, Beyond McNasty, like the fat final Filthy McNasty film. But these are all films that were shot on videotape, on shot on video, to, and and given the look to be like lost '80s films, like lost '80s shot on video movies. And they're really really fun movies, and they all are like slasher films. One one of them is like a spoof of things like uh, Critters. But I'll show you guys what the ones are here, and I'll talk about some of the features and everything this one here is a uh, happy holidays on this one like i said they're all shot on video uh slasher films you know co comedy like screwball kind of comedies and everything but this they all have features on them as well like this one has an introduction by the warlock on set interviews uh chris siever on happy holidays interviews on here with the composer uh vintage slv uh interview on here a warlock trailer vault which has the trailers for all the warlock videos that they're going to be releasing uh trailers for other shot on video uh you know slv horror releases as well like i said the um you know uh, ice cream man this one here dingleberries is ridiculous and i love the cover on this one this one is a spoof on stuff like critters and gremlins and stuff like that uh but like mainly like a critters kind of movie about like these turd monsters that are going around and killing people and like i said the, there's these are really effectively shot because they were shot on tape on videotape and like you know they have like old school 80s synth music and everything and they really feel like lost 80s movies like they really have that vibe this one has on here interviews as well on this one uh super fan interview with douglas waltz on here uh you know on set interviews uh dive a cue here and i love these covers as well they have they're all like aged to look like old vhs movies and everything this one has on here introduction commentary track on here with the cast members moderated by chris siever on set interviews uh, you know as well as uh, shot on video uh, Warlock Home Video Behind the Screams. So a bunch of different features on all these releases. This one here, Death O' Lantern. This one has introduction by the Warlock uh, interviews on here. On this one, brand new interviews on here with uh, Chris Seaver, with Clint Kelly, who was a cinematographer on this one. Uh, the Great Aunt uh, Belladonia. This one was um, Josh Sire, you know, directed this one. Uh, himself here and this one has an introduction on here warlock a home video retrospective chris siever on my great aunt verdinia uh as well as theatrical trailer trailer vault this one though i can't show the front just so no one says anything but this one here is stonky beach this is kind of like a um like a th like a summer camp like meatballs kind of esque kind of vibe this one has one here on set interviews uh, brand new stonky beach interviews theatrical trailer but like i said really really fun if you guys are a fan of shot on video movies and that kind of stuff Stuff and you like like um, you know like like stuff like video violence and cannibal camp out and all those kind of things would definitely recommend you guys check those ones out
And the next one I got here is from Mondo Macabro, and it's a movie here called An Idle Place to Kill. This is from director Umberto Lenzi, who I would say is best known for directing uh, Cannibal Ferox, which I always really love that film. But he's done a number of tons of different films, but that was probably, I would say, one of his most known films. Uh, this one is basically, though, about this couple who is planning on going on this trip for the summer to Italy, and, it's, and basically the, the way that they're kind of planning to fund this trip, because they don't have any money, is that they're going and buying like adult magazines and stuff like that, and they're going and reselling them. So they're kind of going around selling them and finding people who will buy a whole bunch of them to try and you know fund their trip and what they're doing and everything. And essentially, though, they end up getting found out for doing this, and they end up being told to leave the country that they're going to. And it's kind of about them, like, um, they, don't, they don't do it, and they end up like driving out into kind of the middle of nowhere area, and they end up breaking down. And then it's kind of about what happens from that point, about them finding this woman in this house, and, and then it's kind of like her motives in this house, and kind of what's going on with her there. But this is actually a really, really good movie. I really like the music on this one as well. But this one, if you guys have never seen this one, it was definitely one I would say is worth checking out. Out. On here, though, it has a brand new 2K transfer from the from the film negative. Looks great here on uh, Blu-ray. It also has on here a commentary track with um, Troy Hayworth and Nash, um, Nathaniel Thompson, as well as deleted scenes, a theatrical trailer, and it also has the English and Italian audio, you know, options on this one as well. The other one here is from Macondo, Mondo Macabro as well, and this one is called Satanico Pandemonium. This one here is another one I had never seen before, and I was reading too. It says on the back that the character in here was based, um, you know, the the main nun character in here is what uh, Selma Hayek's character was based on in, uh, you know. Um, in Dust Till Dawn. And this one here, like I said, is called Satanic Pandemonium. And this is basically one of those, um, you know, because there's, around this time, because this was from, when did this one release? Uh, the original, this one came out in 75. So around this time, there was a lot of, like, nunsploitation films, kind of like about nuns, you know, doing bad things and uh, covenants of nuns and covenants and all that kind of stuff going on. And this one is basically, though, about a woman who's a nun. And she starts kind of having, like, you know, um, sort of dreams and, you know, desires for things and stuff like that. And it's basically, though, about, like, um, something is sort of taking her over a little bit. And it's kind of about her, like, little by little, things are kind of getting worse and worse for, for her, the way she's acting and what's going on. And it kind of leads to a lot of really bad things happening. But this one here is, like, um, well, definitely one of the more interesting of the nun, like, nun exploitation or nun, like, convent kind of films and stuff like that. This one I would definitely recommend you guys check out as well. And on here, though, this has a 4K transfer, transfer from the film Negative. A brand new transfer looks great here on Blu-ray as well. Also has an interview on here with the writer and co-director. It has an um, exclusive feature out on here talking about non-sploitation films as well as um, it, it has the original um, you know, um, Spanish audio track on here as well as you know, English subtitles and um, trailers for other Mondo Macabro films as well. These one, ones here are all from Eureka Entertainment. These are ones I want you guys know are available. And just to make sure to mention too before I talk about the Eureka Entertainment titles I want to make sure to let you guys know all these ones are region B locked so you guys would have to have an all region blu-ray player to play these ones this is uh jeff uh joe bagel's film uh bliss which is a really really great movie he also recently directed the movie um vfw which i talked about recently which is another one if you guys have never seen that movie that's an absolute must watch this one has on here though feature wise it has a comedy track on here with film historians kat ellinger and sam D uh, digman dingham as well as on here, uh, audio commentary track on here with the director and uh, main actress on here, a commentary track on here with the director as well as the producer, uh, deleted scenes, a trailer on this one here. And I love the black case on this one. These both here are from the Masters of Cinema collection. This one here is uh, Raining in the Mountain here. And this one here has on here, feature-wise, this has... Um, on here, uh, original Mandarin audio, fully restored and uncompressed in its original um, mono, mono natural presentation, brand new exclusive feature length commentary with uh, critic and Asian cinema expert Tony Raines, uh, beyond description, a brand new video essay by David Cairns, a theatrical trailer, uh, as well as a collectible booklet in here as well. I'll show you guys a look though at the booklet. And it's a um, two disc set here. And here's a look though at the booklet. It has like pictures from the movie, stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff in here uh, for this one. And then the other one is also from the Masters of Cinema collection. Is the movie uh, Rudolph Valentino in the Son of the Sh uh, Son of the Shrek here. And this one has on here though a. Um, Loitering Within Tent, a brand new video essay by David Kearns, introduction by Orson Welles, a collectible uh, booklet in here with new essay by, um, by film critic and historian Pamela Hutchinson, 
And I'll show you guys though a look inside at this one here. This is a two disc set as well. And then there, like I said, it has the booklet in here. It has some stuff about the film, stills from the movie and that kind of stuff. And the last one here from um, Eurig Entertainment is a movie here called Sons of Denmark here. And this one has on here though, a um, feature wise, this has a um, theatrical trailer as well as a book, um, you know, an S, uh, a booklet in here featuring an essay by film writer uh, Jason Wood, an interview with the director here. And I'll show you guys though a look inside at this one. Like I said, this one has some interview in here, some pictures from the movie, and that kind of stuff in this one. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.